What's up guys, Lewis Duran here again. We're gonna do another toy hunt today and see if we can find any more Godzilla X-Kong figures for you guys from Playmates and Jada Toys apparently. There's some Jada Toys keychains for Godzilla X-Kong that are floating around. People are getting them right now at Walmarts and Five Below apparently. So we're gonna be checking those stores today. It's very, very cold here. As you guys can see, there's a uh, snow outside. Yeah guys, let's see if we can find anything. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the amount of love and support you guys have been showing me recently. We have reached 91,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the amount of love and support that you guys have been showing me. I couldn't really do this without you guys. So let's uh, find some Godzilla toys. Godzilla. Yeah, I don't have this one right here. The Playmates Godzilla X Kong The New Empire Giant Godzilla Evolved. This figure is a nice one. I like it. The box is something else because it shows a prototype of a horrendous figure. <laughs> Titan Tech Godzilla. We just got out of Target with a successful little hunt. Got the Playmates, Godzilla X Kong, the New Empire Giant Godzilla. Oh, this one looks really, really cool. Look at look at that, the, the dorsal plates in the sunlight. Nice and translucent there. Let me see if I can get a little action there for you guys. You see how like translucent the dorsal plates are here? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This figure's really cool. I did not expect it to have jaw articulation. I knew it had jaw articulation, but I totally forgot it did. I'm glad that the figure looks better than it does in the back of the box, because that face is horrendous. Yeah, this is a really cool figure. Can't wait to get this out of the packaging. Here is the figure out of the box. The Playmates Godzilla X Kong New Empire Giant Godzilla Evolved. I love this figure. It's a great representation of the Godzilla design we see for the film. This figure is very unique, it has a really great stance, and it represents Godzilla very very well, especially with the skinny waist that this one has. You can even put this figure in a superhero landing pose, just like how he does in the trailer. This figure does have some screw holes, but it doesn't bother me too much. It is a plastic toy after all. Now I noticed on a few variants, this Godzilla figure has a pinkish tail, while others have a reddish tail to match with the dorsal plates. Same goes for the elbow spikes. Here's photos provided by the Cheapzilla the official on Instagram. This Target had a great selection of Godzilla X Kong toys. It's really cool seeing Godzilla X Kong toys on the shelves once again. Even though I got most of them, it's still fun to see. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. Now here we are at Walmart. We found some Jada Toys Godzilla X Kong and New Empire keychains. There's Godzilla, Shimo, Scar King, and Kong. I'm very happy I found these. Here's Godzilla looking awesome. Godzilla looks to be like the best one out of the four. Next to Shimo. Here's more Godzilla X Kong and New Empire toys. Six inch Godzilla Evolved. Six inch Kongs with beast gloves. And apparently, Suko and Doug's aren't Target exclusives. Lots of Godzilla X Kong toys to choose from here. Here's more giant Godzilla Evolves. Here's a giant Kong with Beast Glove. And there's another giant Godzilla Evolved. <laughs> 
my wife and I decided to take a little trip to our comic book store, Lost Worlds of Wonders. They always have a few good things there to choose from. Here's some Funko Pop figures. Godzilla Singular Point figures. Here's this awesome Godzilla Ultima with Hirei. I might pick this up at some point. It's a really cool looking pop figure. Here are more Godzilla items. Super 7 reaction figures, NECA, Playmates. This awesome Mezco 5.6L Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla set. This set contains Godzilla 1974, King Caesar 1974, and Mechagodzilla 1974. This comic book store always has a good selection of SH Monsters. And there's my wife crying about how empty our wallet is. And this comic book store has a good selection of Ultraman stuff. For you Ultraman fans out there, come to Lost Worlds of Wonders in Wisconsin. I got a few things. I got the new Mezco Five Points Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla sets. The 1974 Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla set. But we got Godzilla 1974 there, Mechagodzilla right there, and we got King Caesar over here. So this is really, really cool. I love the, the, the clear window box set. I love how it looks in the box. Like, it makes me want to keep it in the box because it looks so unique and so, like, antique. It looks vintage. Look at this. All the accessories that it comes with. Godzilla comes with a head, atomic breath. King, King Caesar comes with a separate head as well to put his eye laser piece in. Mechagodzilla comes with a separate head, separate hands to have his missiles, chest beam there, and his eye beams there. That's really, really cool. Really, really cool set. I've been wanting this set for a little while. Awesome classic Japanese art there from the posters of Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. And my boy Chris. I be going hard. I'm breaking their hearts. Like, like, bitches be quick, but I'm quicker. Really pushed me to get this because I've been wanting this figure for years, guys. Since like 2016 when this figure came out. SH Monster Arts. Godzilla 1954. I've been wanting this figure for so long, and I finally got it. I cannot wait to mess with this guy. He's always been on my mind for years, because, man, this figure is such a great figure. It's one of the better SH Monster Arts figures out there. They couldn't mess up the original Gorgita, so they really couldn't mess him up. Here is the Mezco Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla set with the rest of my Mezco sets. Mechagodzilla, King Caesar, And Godzilla 1974 all look great on this little shelf I have for the Mezco figures. Here's the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1954. And man oh man, it is definitely one of my favorite SH Monster Arts figures in my collection. It has a beautiful sculpt, beautiful detail, and the figure is just outstanding. Look at those dorsal plates. Look at the detail on those dorsal plates. This figure is definitely a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend picking it up. Now we are heading to another comic book store. We are here back at Comic Destro Cosmic Destroyer Collectibles, here for a nice surprise. We got three figures that are waiting in there for me, but I don't know if I'm gonna get them all yet. We'll see how I feel when I get them in there. So let's uh, let's take a look. Here's what they have in terms of Godzilla. Lots of Godzilla action here. I was so excited to finally find the Haya Exquisite Basic Rodan. Here's the Haya Exquisite Basic Mothra. The Haya Exquisite Basic Godzilla 2019. This comic book store got a lot of high stuff, and I'm happy about that. Rodan looks awesome. My wife is excited for this Godzilla. And here I am holding all three. I am such a spoiled ass Godzilla fan, okay? So, I finally treated myself to these figures, even though these figures have been out for a little while now. Exquisite Basic Haya Kong 2021, finally. I've heard great things about this Kong. The Haya Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019. 
squeezing basic figure i heard this one's a lot better than the godzilla 2021 figure that they've actually put out I heard so many great things about this figure i heard it's the best godzilla figure from haya so far i cannot wait to open this guy up as well this guy looks great i love the box up cover as well so so cool so cool here's the big guy now i'm not sure why the box is so huge probably because the figure is inside with the wings spread out haya Squizzy Basic Rodan 2019 from Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now, I love this figure because of the bendable wings that it has. I cannot wait to mess around with this guy, bend his wings, put him, put him in the poses that he was in in Godzilla King of the Monsters, but he was like destroying all the jets flying around. They're releasing another one, a reissue. They're making that one like a luminescent Rodan, like a, a glow in the dark, I think, feature, or like if you put a black light to it, it's gonna like glow amazingly. Shout out to Cosmic Destroyer Collectibles. I'll probably wait until he gets it in. The lighting today is not the best at all, but I got the Kong, got the Godzilla, got the Rodan. Squizzy Basic, Haya, Kong 2021. Haya, Squizzy Basic, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Godzilla 2019. Squizzy Basic, Haya, Rodan 2019. There we go. Boom, there he is. Oh, maybe it's just me, but he does look a lot bigger than the 2021 Godzilla from Haya Toys, but holy crap, this guy looks great. Now I cannot wait to get the Haya Toys King Ghidorah 2019. That's gonna be amazing to put with this guy. There's the figure. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. Oh, look, I already bent like half of the wing and it's already staying. Makes me wanna watch Godzilla King of the Monsters tonight and just put him in the like pose that he did. My heart drops, but I can put it back in. No worries. What do you mean by that? So he can do that nice twirl that he did in the movie. Here's the exquisite basic Haya Kong 2021 from Godzilla vs. Kong. This Kong actually surprised me. It's a very nice looking Kong figure. I thought Kong from Haya was the least accurate out of all of them so far, but having it in hand and having it in person definitely changed that opinion. Here's the highest exclusive basic Godzilla 2019, standing mighty and proud, looking like the best Haya Godzilla figure that Haya has produced so far. The sculpt is amazing, the detail is amazing, the paint job is not too bad. And they fixed a lot of the problems that the first Haya Godzilla 2021 figure had. So it's great to see that this figure is loved among fans. And here is the Haya Squeezic Basic Rodan 2019. This figure is also a beauty. The stand is not too great. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. Subscribe and like and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.